Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastava and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video we solve question 9 of IC 2025 Computer Science Both Specimen Paper and this is the question. So before we begin it is a request to please please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers only 2 to 3 are subscribed more than 95% of my audience is not subscribed and your subscription is very important so please please do subscribe to my channel so before we begin i also teach all this coding in hindi as well on my hindi youtube channel code with bk hindi so you may check out all this content in hindi as well and there is a lot more than just isc and icc solutions so please do spare five minutes and check out my youtube hindi channel code with bk hindi so we have to solve question nine of isc 2025 computer science specimen paper this is the question take a minute and give this a good reading because this is a Good question. So in this question, you have to complete two functions, void push front and in pop rear. Assume other functions have been defined and you don't even have to write the main function. Name the entity described and state its principle. So you are given a data structure where we can add and remove integers from both ends, front and rear. Okay. The data structure that does this is called a deck. D-E-Q-U-E-U-E. -E -U -U -E. Not a DQ. It's called a deck. You can add and remove values from both front and the rear ends. Okay, then its principle is obviously going to be FIFO first in first out. Okay, and it is given that an array that can hold at most 100 integers is used to demo and store this deck. So added gold hinge elements, you have a capacity just to store the size. You have a pointer to the front index, you have a pointer to the rear index. Okay, the constructor says that you have to initialize a uh, front and rear to zero and you can push and pop from front and you can push and pop from rear. Okay, so it is important that you understand how this data structure works given this array and given front and rear. So I am going to try and understand that how do we push and pop from front, how do we push and pop from rear and then we code this function. Because there is not a lot of coding involved but there is a lot of understanding involved. Okay, and they usually give you a question on similar concepts. Okay, one of these questions is on a stack or a queue or similar data structure. Okay, so they are saying you have a deck okay, and you have an array to store the deck. Okay. So let's for our convenience, let's consider it is say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, say 10 integers, okay. The constructor that creates the object of this recycle class sets front and rear both to 0, okay. So we need to add and remove from front and rear, okay. Or you can say this is add is basically push okay and remove is pop okay add is push and remove is pop okay from both ends you have to add and you have to remove values okay they're technically called push and pop okay let's take some values 2 10 11 45 and 6 and 3 okay suppose we have to add at the rear okay so how do we push at rear so we add where the rear index is pointing and move the rear index forward. So if I add 2, 2 goes here because there is an index 0 and rear goes forward to the next index. Okay. So add, add, rear and then rear plus plus. Rear moves forward to the next index. So that if you have to add 10 again to rear, 10 is added where the rear is pointing and rear moves forward. Okay. Rear is at index 2. Okay. Considering we push this way. Okay, we have to make sure all the other op operations also work with pushing this way that is you are adding at rear and rear moves forward. Okay, so if we are adding from rear like this, we can remove from rear by removing the element right at the previous index from rear. So rear it has index 2, the value that has to add goes here, but the value that we have to remove from rear is on the previous index. Okay, so remove from rear minus 1 and then you do rare minus minus okay so if i have to pop rare okay i remove this value that is i simply move rare back to this index okay so you cannot actually remove or add location from an array the point of seeing removing a value from the array is that the next value that will be added will be overwritten okay so we did push rare push rare and pop rare Okay, all right. If you do push rare again, this value is overwritten and 11 comes here. So this is now 11. 
okay and rare comes back to index 2 so you push rare again the first value push was 2 second was 10 when you pop rare it returned 10 and then push rare 11 again all right so push and pop for my rare one okay to add at the rare i'll do rare plus plus to remove from rare i'll do remove from the previous index of rare and then do rare minus minus okay let's think about front okay so in my current state of this array okay my front is pointing here okay there are two values so if you make a copy of this array okay index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have values 2 and 11 rare is here front is here okay so the two elements here okay if i want to add from front okay i cannot add this at very same index because there is already a value 2 there and where 2 is okay this is the front of the deck so you can say wherever front is it is pointing to the front value in the deck okay since front is pointing to the front value of the deck you can remove front from where the front is pointing that is if i want to pop from front remove value at f right and then do then f plus plus front plus plus that is if you want to pop this value from front you move front to the next pointer okay so your array becomes something like this okay index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay your front is here your rear is here the only value left in the deck is 11 although there is two here but we cannot reach it because the values of the deck are from front to less than rear okay so it has only one element okay so if i pop front again okay i remove value from front move front plus plus i remove from front move front plus plus so this now becomes okay index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, front and rear are both at index 2 okay there was 2 here there is 11 here but we'll override these values not a matter and there are some rest of the values in the array okay that is to say this is zero elements now and my deck is empty again so empty deck condition is when front and rear are at the same index and that is what is happens when you create a fresh deck okay that front and rear are at the same index so if you go back to your requirements front and rear both through zero when you start when you create an create a deck the deck is empty no values have been added so condition for empty deck is in front equal to rear. okay all right the last part left is adding from front so adding from front will be to the index right before front so since front is here if i want to add to front say take a different color okay add to front so you add to the previous index okay so you add to front minus one and you move front backwards front minus one because rear is moving forward in if front also moves in the same direction it will not uh, fulfill the conditions of a deck if rear is going forward front has to go in the other direction so it has to go back okay so adding to front is adding to front minus one and front minus minus so we, if we add say uh, push another value say uh, 16 so this is overridden as 16 and front comes here so your array becomes okay index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay rare stays at index 2 okay front comes at index 1 we have the value added 16 here okay and there is one element okay and front is pointing to the first element which is our condition okay front will be at the first index first value okay we saw front at the first value front at the first value front at the first value okay so we have push front pop front push rear pop rear okay and this is what we need to do okay empty condition is this okay and when you cannot add from a front is when front is at zero when f equal to zero 
f minus 1 is less than 0 it is invalid so you cannot add from from that is you can say it is full from front okay similarly if you keep filling okay rare will come here okay last value that you add to rare say suppose you add all these values to rare okay rare equal to capacity okay means you add the you are you, are, uh, you cannot add any more from rare so full from rare okay full from rare full from from when f equal to zero push pop from front push pop for rear and empty deck so we found codes for all our conditions so we plug this into our functions so you have to push from front okay so if cannot add from front okay and if can add from front okay so pop rear will be if the deck is empty cannot pop else pop the value at the rear end okay so if cannot add from front if front is at zero because i have to add at the previous index okay add add front minus one and do front minus minus so if front equal to zero i cannot add from front so push front to add anything from front if possible if it is not possible you say full from front so we say this out full from front okay else and if can add from front we add at the previous index okay front minus one so we say elements of front minus one is the new element v we move front backwards right okay adding to the previous index just as we discussed here and then we move front minus minus okay according this if deck is empty deck empty condition was if front and rear are at the same index that's empty condition okay so if front equal to rear my deck is empty i cannot pop so what was the requirements for pop rear uh returns 999 for deck is empty else else pop the value at the rear end how do we get the value at the rear end the value at the rear end is at rear minus one so i'll say int value to pop is element at rear minus one we move rear backwards okay and then return value to pop okay so my pop rear and push front are done and that's what my requirements are so i'm going to show you other functions and then we test this so this is the constructor just set the capacity to max create a new integer with the capacity front and rear are set to zero in your pop front what did we see your popping from front was popping at the same index and moving front forward to the next index so popping from the front was popping from the same index moving front to the next index okay and empty conditions remains the same if there is nothing to be popped from front if the deck is empty cannot pop same thing okay similarly we saw push rear push rear was at rear and then rear plus plus so push rear was if rear is capacity i cannot push from rear push at rear and rear plus plus so this is basically push at rear and rear plus plus okay all right so this is your entire class and i have written this display method so that we have values and then front and rear on top okay and this is to test okay so let me just create a empty deck and display so front and rear are both at zero and we have a capacity of 10 so 10 zeros because by default all the array locations are going to be zero because we are creating an array of a primitive type okay it is a primitive type for a non-primitive type we get all locations to null so if i try to push at front and we saw we cannot push at front if front is at zero because i have to print uh, uh, push at the previous index of front so full from front because we try to push at front we can however push from rare because there is a rare index at is at zero and we can add a value at index zero so 10 comes at index zero and rare moves forward we push again okay 34 comes at the next rare index and then moves forward we push again 19 comes here and we move forward okay then we pop from front and we saw popping from front is at the index where front is so 10 will be popped pop from front 
okay and friend moves to the next value so the number of values left are two okay three pushes one pop now we can push from front okay because there is a valid index before front okay so this is the value at front now okay then we do last three pops from the front so 98 34 39 98 34 19 okay and that's then we have uh, the deck empty again okay so number of pops and number of pushes are the same so one two three four and one two three four four push four pop this is not valid because uh, we cannot add from front is if front is at index zero and that is what you need to consider so the number of lines of code very few okay so this was your solution to question 9 of IC 2025 computer science both specimen paper uh, I hope this was helpful if there are any doubts at all please let me know in the comments I always try to answer all your comments and this is also solved in Hindi so the link for that Hindi video you can find in the description of this video and other questions of this IC 2025 computer science specimen paper are also solved in Hindi the link to the playlist you can find in the description of this video okay and please don't forget to check my code with Biki hindi channel if you're comfortable with hindi i add a lot of coding content in hindi there okay so please let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments and you can always let me know in the comments if there's a question you want to solve or if there's a concept you want to discuss so please like this video subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching